There he is. There he is. Are we doubled up? Are we doubled up? Oh my gosh. Are we on the same fish? No, what? What? No, we're not. It's not the same fish. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We just launched. It's a nice, somewhat calm day today. Day after Christmas. So, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And uh, we're going to go after some sheep's head again today. Might go after some redfish. I don't know. We'll see what we can get into. Hopefully, this place will be money for sheeps because there's a lot of structure around here. And as the weather's getting colder, these sheep's head will move out of the back rivers and channels and start making their way back out into the Gulf so they can start their spawn. So hopefully, I mean, we've been seeing a lot of reports of guys just tearing them up on three mile. So we're right here by three mile, but we're gonna try out some rock outcroppings first. Might go to the cave, I don't know. We'll see what we're gonna do. But it's really shallow through here and I just bottomed out. So I'm gonna get my paddle out. <laughs> This is already turning out to be a great day. We've been working hard looking for these sheep's head. Here's a trip from seven days prior to this one. Well, we finally found some, but not a lot. Look at that, fellas. The kayak clip with the sheep. I thought I felt something down there biting on me. With winter just kicking off, finding fish has been pretty difficult. It took us about six hours to find these guys. That's a nice one. That's bigger. Making this shit up just because I catch these little little guys, but he's still sheep, man. Look at him, he's cute. Yeah, dude. That's the demo sheep head. Yeah, I'm proud of you, dude. Me too. But the winter time, fishing is just rough. We have been out, I don't know, probably six or seven times, caught, I don't know, three or four sheep's head on a well protected bridge. But for the most part, man, we are working to find these fish. So we talked to a couple local guys who gave us some kind of intel on some good areas. I mean, we know we got the three mile bridge over here. We know that's great. Just so you guys know, like, we're just not always out here catching fish. Well, at least not me. That's just not how I am. I try, I try real hard. It's just fishing, man. That's why they caught fish and I'm not catching. It takes forever sometimes to find fish. All right, you guys, we're gonna pull up to this first little dock before we get to these rocks. I'm gonna just see what's on these pilings. We're in I don't know, about 10 feet of water. There's quite a bit of structure down there. I don't know if you guys can see it on that fish finder. My side scan. Quite a bit of rubble. We'll get up here next to these pilings. And we'll just see if we can't pull something off of them. We're in a super low tide right now. As you can see with these barnacles that are sticking out of the water. We'll see if something's on them. The sheep said they love structure like this. Anytime you can find something where they can get a little bit protected from the current and they can find a food source, which is these barnacles. That's a recipe to find a sheep. Go boys. Oh yeah, there we go. Got one. Woo! Both of his butt in the boat, boys. Come over here, Mike. Today, we've been fishing for these guys all freaking day, and I just dropped this fiddler crab on this piling. I just landed this guy. I'm telling you guys, it has been a freaking rough couple days trying to fish. I didn't even have time to get my net. I mean, when I'm in eight feet of water. Sheep's in the boat. He's a good keeper too. 
This dude's got some funky teeth. He's decent. All right, fellas. So there he is. That's the first one of the day. We've been working our butt off for these guys. This is awesome. I'm gonna get him in the bag. I'm gonna show you guys his teeth. Look at that sucker's teeth. Dang. Woo! I even got prettier teeth than this guy does. All right, guys, what I'm using today, I got my Pen Battle 2 5000 reel on my Mojo Inshore fishing rod. This thing's a medium heavy power, fast action tip for those uh, sheep's head. You kind of want a fast action. And then I got a little fiddler crab tied on a number one hook and up to a split shot on my 15 pound four carbon leader. Yep, there we go. There we go, boys. Number two. He's digging too, isn't it? This is a nice one. Oh, sh came off right of the kayak. All right, guys, Mike says he's getting picked off on this piling. We're gonna come over here and see if we can't snag one. Sun's going down. We got about an hour left of fishing. And I gotta catch at least one more fish to make a video. Unless I just combine all the last 15 days that I've been trying to fish into one video. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna double our video up. He's on the bottom, bro. I mean, it might be more than one of them. Bait thieving, some bitches. Camera dog. That's annoying. There he is. There he is. Oh, we doubled up. Oh, we doubled up. Oh my gosh. Are we on the same fish? We're on the same fish. No, what? What? That's my fish. No, we're not. We were just taking it up. We doubled up. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Bro. Dang. You guys will never believe what just happened. We doubled up. We thought we were on the same fish. They had just crossed, but we both had one. Mike's still catching his. <laughs> Woo! Woo! This was at least 60 inches. This is a good one, bro. Oh, get up here, sheephead. Come on, brother. Oh, it's another big one. Oh, come on, buddy. Come over here into my net, sir. Yeah, I got him. Oh, another big one. Let's go. Yes. Oh, yes, dude. Yeah. That was insane. Hey man, this is what fishing's all about. We're out here having a good time. We got some sheep's head. There's we got some sheep's head on this piling. Man, that's a decent sheep. Look at that guy. You got a big one over there? Look at my big one right here. He's like a thousand feet. He's decent, man. Alright, so I'm gonna bleed him out. Check it out. Bleed him right here. Stick my finger right behind his peck pin. Puncture it in. Puncture it in this side. There you go. That's gonna bleed him out. See my finger right there behind his peck fin? That's how you guys bleed these suckers. Too easy. And at that, we thought we were done. We're ready to pack up and go home. And then this happened. My hat cam died, guys. Cam jack to change the battery right now. This is a big fish. This is a big fish, I gotta play him. Now the cool thing when you're fishing bridges in Florida, is that you never know what you're gonna catch. And around here, we have some pretty big bridge monsters. Mike has only got a convict rod with 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. So he can't muscle this guy up. Yeah, I stopped pedaling. My DJI Mike is dead. My camera's dead. You guys are getting raw footage. I ain't pedaling. So Mike's been fighting this fish now for, I don't know, probably five minutes. As you just heard, all of our camera equipment's dead. DJI mics are dead. We've been out here for probably nine hours. 
So right now I'm filming on my iPhone. Luckily I had that as a backup. I want to see leader. Oh man, that's a monster. Drum. Oh my God. Look at that guy. Oh my Look God. at that black drum. Oh Dang, God. it's a freaking dinosaur. Oh that is insane. What? I can't fit that in the net. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, get the gaff. Bro. Get the gaff. Bro. Hold up, bro. What? You might have to double net them. I can't believe I got this fish up on this little light gear. Were we just talking about that too? Bro. Oh, is, is he in? Bro. Is he in? He's going to flip me over, bro. <laughs> uh, get him up there. Bro, I can't pick him up. He's gonna break my net. Oh, you got him. Rob, I'm not kidding. All right, Dude, Mike is pulling in a dinosaur right now. Rob, I can't get Dang. Look at that guy. <laughs> that whole thing ate a fiddler crab. Uh, like he was trying to get. Oh, I'm about to flip. Like, he oh was, like he was trying to have a little oh, snack. This is the, <laughs> Bro. I can't believe you got bro, that thing up on 15 pound bro, I, liter. Oh my god, bro. GoPro stop recording. That's insane. <laughs> bro, I didn't know he was this big, bro. <laughs> Don't fall out of kayak now. Let's see if we can. That's why I got uh that's why I got a strap on my fish grips so I can get a revive on a fish like this. Yeah, just get a little bit of water under his gills, he'll keep going. I didn't have my water too long. No. He's just tired. It was a long fight. Yeah it was. Take fish grips off and there he goes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he took off good. Good. Heck yeah. Right yeah. That's badass, man. That's it. That was a cool catch. Heck yeah, dude. All right, you guys. Hopefully, uh, you guys enjoyed that content. That was pretty awesome fishing. That fish Redbeard caught. That sucker was huge. We thought it was going to tip his kayak. And it came pretty close. I was waiting for him to fall in. That would have been a pretty epic video for you guys. If you guys like that video, don't forget to check out this video right here. Because this one is also awesome. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one.